today we're going to have a lecture on mentally challenged patients in the dental practice. This is a uniquely difficult field because such patients have a difficult nature and behavior as well as they have communication barriers and often they require consent by their parent or guardian in order to get treatment. The most commonly associated mental illness in dentistry uh, involves some form of cerebral palsy as well as seizures accompanied by behavioral disorders. This more often than not involves physical restraint of the patient as well as conscious sedation in order to provide dental health care. It is our aim for this lecture to illustrate such clinical procedures as well as to explore the variables associated with it. A few things to take note of would be for the dentist not to show the sharp instruments in front of the special needs child as much as possible. Also, the child should use soft bristled brushes, play with toothpaste and plastics. Hey Jaylon, I, yeah. I need to talk to you. Okay. Can you sit down? Alright. Look, I want you to see this. It's a picture of a tooth and you've got so many of them in your mouth that yeah. you have to make sure that they're clean and white and healthy, you know? Okay. And you already do that by brushing, which is really good. But you know, you have to go to the dentist. And what? I want to take you tomorrow. I fixed an appointment for you tomorrow. Why? You have to go to the dentist, honey. You have to make sure that your teeth are healthy because you can't see inside, can you? Well, you just say I, I brushed my teeth really good. Yeah, but honey, the dentist is a small mirror that can see everything inside and just to make sure that your teeth and everything else, your gums and everything are healthy, you know? And you don't have that, so you can't see it inside. But I don't want to go. I'm scared. You can't with me. Oh, honey, honey, no. Please, please sit down. You know, dentist is a friend of mine. He'll be really gentle with you. You don't have to worry. It'll be over even before. Hey, Jaywan. Okay, yeah. tomorrow we've got to go to the dentist. Okay? What? Why? Because I made your appointment for tomorrow. We're going. But I don't want to go. I'm busy. You think you are busy? You hey, are not hey, busy. Hey, you have hey, to go. I'm taking hey, you. Hey, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. You, you have to go. <laughs> Dentists should be welcoming and friendly, especially towards special needs children. It's important for them to not be afraid, and it'll be easier for us to give them the proper care that they need. How are you doing? Are you fine? Can I get your attention, please? Why? Uh, this is a nice teddy bear cute. What is his name called? Jackie. Oh, so sweet. So, it's your best friend, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Here, look at here. Because today I want to teach you how to brush the teeth. Do you brush your teeth before? No. You have to know how to brush the teeth to remove what? the bad thing. So you can keep oh. your help. Now I want to teach you how to brush the teeth. Look at here closely. This is gum. Right. This is tooth. The white color thing is tooth. The pink and red is gum. So this is your toothbrush. So first you must move from up and down. Up, up and down. And, uh, good. Up and down. Circular up and down. Movement. Up and down. Up and down. You know that right? Up good. and down. Must yeah. move on the tooth. Like this. Then you move the back to your thing. Uh, don't do that in my hand. Bad boy. No, must be good. To the gum. Yeah, good boy. No, up. Up and down. Up and down. Ah, good boy. From back to front. Back to front. Is it okay? Boy. Now I teach you how to brush the tooth. Look at me. Use your toothbrush. Look at me. Uh, move here. Yes, good boy. Up and down, like this. Up and, yes. Up and down, up and down. Good. Then circular motion, like behind. Good boy. Then back. 